What's up everybody, I'm Tim Conley and I wanna to talk to you about the greatest business card you are ever going to have. Let's kick it. So this topic has jumped into the front of the queue of videos that I'm making on this channel because of something I'm about to show you in a second. But I want to say, this is a case of do what I say, not what I did. It's a huge lesson, I want you to do it. A package just came in the mail and I'm super excited about it because it's from a very, very dear friend and it is how to write this book. Hopefully that's coming in nice and clear for you by my dear friend, Laura Gale. And what's even more awesome is that I'm, I'm quoted in the introduction. So I could be like really vain and read that to you, but no, go buy the book and then read what I'm quoted as saying inside this book. How cool is that? So the greatest business card you could ever possibly have, spoiler alert, I kind of hinted at it. It's a book. This book by my friend, Laura Gale, uh, it's her new business card. It's a good book. It's got, well, it's got me in it, but it's a good book. It's going to show how to write a business book so that you can use it as your business card. This isn't something that I'm saying with no experience myself, but let's, let's jump in back in time. Long time ago, at the beginning of my career, I had a mentor of mine who said, Tim, the best business card you'll ever have is a book. So write one now. And I didn't listen to him. I was afraid. I, I thought, oh, I don't really know anything yet. I'm just now getting started. I should get a bunch of experience and then I'll write a book. Well, years go by and I still hadn't written a book. And a couple of times I've attempted writing a book and I've got a lot of valuable information. I just never got around to actually completing a book to be my greatest business card. In a two decade long career, I just never got around to it. So I don't want you to make that mistake, but I want to share with you a couple of ways of actually doing a book for your business. I'm not going to tell you how to write it. You know, this, that's what this book's for. You can learn how to write your book, get it produced and out in the world. I'm going to tell you how to use it to get you clients. Exhibit number one is a client's book. It's called How to Get New Dental Patients with the Power of the Web. It was written years ago. And we use this book to produce millions of dollars in revenue for my client. And I've got another client, Exhibit 2, and I wish I actually had the physical one. I somehow only have the uh, digital copy. So on Amazon, you can get this book right here called The Digital Life Insurance Agent by Jeff Root, a former client of mine also and he's used that as his business card. Those are two examples of my clients have used books as business cards. Uh, you may have heard of Ryan Levesque. Uh, he used this book, Ask, as a giant business card that from a friend who knows Ryan, I don't know him personally, so this is just hearsay, but this book made Ryan's agency millions of dollars. So how does this whole book marketing thing work? Well, step one, write your book. Step two is create a landing page. You need a landing page to sell this book. And we're going to sell the book in the form of free. Eh, it doesn't sound like a great deal, but it's an amazing deal. Selling your book for free, you've probably heard of it as the free plus shipping and handling. And that is what you're gonna start with especially if you're in a solid niche, like my clients that were in dental marketing, they only focus on dentists. So who in their right mind is gonna go looking for a free book uh, called How to Get New Dental Patients, right? Unless they're a dentist. So that one is really easy. 
Ask, on the other hand, is targeted to, well, it's not targeted, it's to any business owner, that, especially ones doing business online, and that is really, really broad. So free plus shipping and handling is a very expensive proposition in something like that. So you might end up with like my friend Laura, who on her book, you actually pay for the book. And this is, this is great, and she'll probably set up a whole a free plus shipping or some other type of lead gen, but she doesn't need a lot of clients. And if you go by my idea of little hinges swing big doors, you don't either. So you don't actually have to give this book away for free. But if you want to get a lot of leads really fast, then the free plus shipping and handling is a great method of doing it. The next step, after you're selling your book for free, the next step from that landing page is on the thank you page. What you're going to do is offer a chance to speak with you. Uh, call it a discovery session, call it a free strategy session, call it something, but you want to get people to choose a time to speak with you or one of your representatives. That way, they get into your sales funnel quickly. And what we found with the book marketing that we've done is that, oh my gosh, you don't have to wait until they get the book. They can go from putting in their information, their credit card, and ordering the book to immediately booking a call with you without having seen the book yet. This is, this is crazy crazy powerful. It's a little trick that we figured out that uh, we thought at first, well, they need to get the book before we try to book them in. But turns out you just go right into get onto a call with us. And that was powerful. That was the way we were able to generate millions of dollars for my clients because we just went right to let's get on a strategy call. So I've got a little warning. There's something that I, I keep saying about the book, you know, getting the book, it needs to be physical. It needs to be an actual book. If you do it in a digital format, which my client did with uh, his book, but he also has a printed version, the digital version has very little value. If you send somebody a PDF, they, they get the book for free and you send them a PDF, you have completely devalued your business card. I don't know why the psychology runs that way, but that is how it works. You give them the book for free, it lowers the value of this book marketing. You actually want a physical book to show up, get it in their hands, even if they never read it and the odds are 95% of them will never read your book, that doesn't matter. What matters is that they have this, it sits up on their shelf, and they're reminded of you. Because they say, if he's got a book, or she has a book, that means they are an authority. It's how we're wired. We're educated from little children about books, and that books hold immense value. And a real book a physical form is going to hold more value than the digital one, even though the content is exactly the same. Now, after they've scheduled a call or not scheduled a call with you, then you go into follow-up because some of the people are not going to show up to the uh, call that they booked. I know, that's weird, but they just don't show. So you need to have a follow-up system to make sure they show up on the call or you're not gonna turn them into clients. And those who don't schedule a call, you need to follow up with them. You need a follow-up system. You need to be sending them emails, messaging them, hopefully get them on Facebook Messenger if you can, send them these messages and get them to schedule that call because that is where you're actually going to make your money because you can start qualifying them right then and there. They already believe you to be an authority because they ordered your book. Now you get, you got to work to get them on the call. Once you got them on your call, you just go right into your sales process. This is how book marketing works. You start off with having your book made. Then you create a landing page. You drive traffic to that landing page, targeted traffic to that landing page, and then you sell your book for free. And then you get them to schedule a call with you. And then from there, you go right into your sales process. So that may mean, depending on your client, you may actually have a long sales process after that initial discovery call. Large clients may take a year to close, but that first call gets them 
way deeper into your sales process than simply doing ads or a webinar or anything like that. The book marketing funnel is one of the fastest ways to accelerate the sales cycle, especially with higher end clients. I hope you got value from this and you're excited to create the greatest business card you will ever have. And I want you to go out and get my good friend Laura Gale's book on how to write this book. So like, subscribe, share, do all the socials, and I'll see you in the next video.